Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and scientists have just made a rather remarkable discovery. Mineral never before found naturally on Earth, discovered in meteorite. Now, this mineral is called escotite. Uh, chemical formula, Fe5, C2. Five atoms of iron to suit two atoms of carbon. Now, what makes this extraordinary is it's never been found in nature. Yet, it came to Earth in a meteorite. The Wedderburn, Wedderburn meteor in Australia, back in 1951, a red and black black charred meteorite was found near the rural town of Wedderburn in Australia. It eventually made its home in the museum's Victoria Collections, where it has been renamed. Over the years, workers at the museum sliced off tiny bits of meteorite, which was named appropriately enough the Water Waterburn Meteorite. Last year, researchers took a look at it, and they found out that it has a mineral in it, and that mineral's name is escatite that is only produced in uh, smelting furnaces, iron smelting furnaces. It has never been found naturally on Earth. You know, say that again, it's never been found naturally on Earth. It was named after Edward R.D. Scott, who identified a formula for a mineral back in the 1970s. The curator of the museum's Victoria, Stuart Mills, reported that finding a mineral made naturally that had first been created in the lab is very rare. Millions of scientists have discovered over half a million minerals in the lab, less than 6,000 of which have ever been found in nature. Humans have been making mineral for many years, incidentally, it is a byproduct of smelting. And here we have the formula Fe5C2, Fe's the uh, chemical symbol for iron. Now here comes the speculation part. It is not known how the mineral was formed, of course, but it appears likely the meteorite it came from was once part of a much larger body. Perhaps a planet or a moon. Pure speculation. Let me remind you that this has never been found naturally. This mineral has never been found naturally. Now they've made... Scientists have discovered over half a million minerals in the lab. Uh, if you go back up there, less than 6,000 of which have been found in nature. But they've never found, you know, this one is different because it came to Earth uh, from, you know, in a meteorite, and that hasn't happened before as far as I know. So here we have an artificially produced mineral, and they're t telling us, oh, it's natural because it came from outer space. I'm not buying this, folks. And we got uh, a problem here. Perhaps a planet or a moon, they say. Some of the field have already suggested that the mineral was made in the core of a planet with a lot of heat. Oh? Well, which one? Um, Mars? That one's supposed to be dead geothermically. We're just about dead. Venus the atmosphere there is too thick Mercury how would it escape the sun's gravity and get here no and the rest of them all the rest of the plants of course all the rest of the close ones are uh, gas giants all the way out to Neptune Shouldn't say close. It's 
Some after that, it appears likely the planet suffered a collision of some sort that broke it into fragments, one of which made its way to Australia. Pure speculation, folks. Uh, it's natural because we're telling you it's natural, even though it's only made artificially. At least on this planet. Unbelievable. I'm not buying it. Uh, I'm not buying this for a minute. This looks like a big CYA as far as I'm concerned. This... Uh, somebody manufactured this. And they don't want to admit to it. That's what this amounts to. Chris, I don't know who else in the solar system would have iron smelting furnaces. But I can guess at a plant or two, like Mars, for instance. Until you fools can find this occurring naturally someplace, I'm not buying this. Sorry. So I think you, uh, the people at the California Institute of Technology need to be a little more honest with the people. You found something really extraordinary here. Something that doesn't fit the narrative. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I stand by this. I believe this to uh, have been manufactured elsewhere. At least the mineral part of it. I stand by my comments. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.